of wax, but health professionals, Facebook and Alphabet, which is the uh, parent company of Google. And that's that those are her constituents. If anything, frankly, I'm impressed that some of those numbers are as low as they are, suggesting that she's getting a lot less support from Alphabet than, frankly, I expected. But I, yeah. I think that what you're observing, which is to say the uh, levels at which corporations effectively buy politicians um, is yeah. an absolutely critical thing for anyone to grip. And I do think that people uh, to the left of the center understand the ways in which our democracy has been unfortunately bought and sold. And we do have the best government that money can buy. One of my very earliest struggles as a lawyer, my very first case actually out of law school, I was representing the House co-sponsors of the Bipartisan Campaign Reform Act. This was the McCain-Feingold hmm. law that in the early 2000s aimed to take corporate soft money out of elections. And uh, I'm very proud of having been part of the team that won that case before the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals yeah. four years before the Supreme Court and the Citizens United decision laid waste to everything that we'd established in the earlier case. Yeah. So you know, I've dedicated a, uh, at least one phase of my career to fighting the fight of getting money out of politics. Wow. Uh, we won our battle in the context of a losing war. I see myself running in this context uh, against the the most successful corporate fundraiser in the history of humankind, perhaps, uh, as very much running a, a challenge to the paradigm of, of corporate bought uh, and ultimately sold campaigns. And I'm running a corporate free people power campaign. Uh, it's one that I think uh, we've seen prove successful in the very recent past in other places from the Bronx to Minnesota. And I think in the 2020 election, we might see, uh, particularly in Bernie's race, it be successful across the country. I'm both uh, riding and actively building that wave of progressive change that is sweeping the country, that is turning the blue deeper shades of blue, that is uh, shifting the political debate dramatically in the Overton window to make viable, discursive, opportunities that in the past, you know, would have any of us ridiculed. You know, one, one, one way in which I feel very much an affinity with Bernie Sanders is the, the consistency with which we've each approached politics. You know, I really haven't changed my line in 20 years, but it is remarkable to watch the times shift such that instead of being a voice on the fringe, the same things I've been saying for 20 years suddenly resonate with all these other people who are coming to be, you know, share my alarm. Yeah, you feel uh, that way? You, it, I mean, I, honestly, because I've been really down lately about just where we're at. You've been doing this 20 years, and right now you feel positive about a sh the shift? Oh, yeah. 